Hi, this is uh, Andre for Downtown Music Guitars here in Sydney. There's uh, a couple of things that we're covering today. One of them is this um, Fender Tweed Deluxe Amplifier. This amplifier is from 1959. And if you have a look here, I've got my little product placement thing happening. Got to have product placement, man. It's like Eclipse Mints. They totally rock. Probably full of uh, carcinogenic uh, agents, but that's cool. I mean, it's uh, we breathe we breathe the uh, air 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 on the planet anyway, so we're full of toxins. Um, as you can see, the uh, wear condition of this amp is a really beautiful feature. It's very very hairy. It's tweed covered uh, amp, and over the years, it's been rubbed and moved, and it's sort of fluffed up at the sides there. But uh, as I said, 1959. Uh, anyone would think that this amp being as hairy as it is, uh, was maybe from 1973, uh, but uh, it's not, it's uh, from 1959, and uh, just for all the people out there that was uh, never exported to Brazil, they never send anything quite hairy, this hairy to Brazil. So, um, <laughs> it, uh, this was the 1959 hairy amp that uh, looks like it was made in 1973, but um, as, as I said as well, this is the, it's got that famed uh, 5E3 circuit, I think is the one, and everyone sort of, sort of raves about it, and this is really the uh, one that they sort of, all the Fender buffs really, you know, sort of rave on about the old deluxe. This is, this is one here. Uh, what I've got is with this, I'm going to... I've put, got, got everything basically in the middle. She's got a tone and a volume control, which we'll sort of zoom in on later and show you. But uh, this amp, I just want to play a couple of sounds just to give you an idea of the sound of the amp, but also the versatility of the amp too. It's very reactive to input. So if I put the volume up just, up just a little bit, I get a nice warm sort of tone. But if I roll the volume up on the guitar and put more signal from the pickups into the amp I'm, and use the back pickup, I get that heavy distorted sort of sound. So uh, as you can see, the uh, quite a versatile amp, especially too, if you sort of run it with the volume, with maybe a volume pedal and a, and, a, and a little distortion box or something like that, quite a versatile sort of thing. But most guys, for these sort of amps, they just like that old traditional sound, you know. So that's um, one for the recording studio.